Something that I'm starting to do more and more within Moodle is add buttons, usually at the top of the course, that link to the things that students need to do quite regularly. And one of the reasons there is it a they're always at the top of the course, so it's easy to find. But it also means that, for example, the announcements, which is an item that appears here, I can set it so that it's available but not shown on the course page and then it's accessing the button and that then saves kind of like the screen real estate because I don't have a long list of things at the top that kind of go down vertically. They are then replaced with buttons going across the top, taking up less room um, and then making the interface much cleaner for the students. So we're going to go through the process of how we set these up. So if I turn editing on and I'm going to add a label. And all we're going to do is within the label, I'm just going to put some text in that I've just pre-prepared for speed. So this is the text that's going to appear on my three buttons. Now I'm going to set it so that it's center aligned. And what we're then going to do is we're going to add a hyperlink to each of the items pointing to where it is that it wants to link to. So just adding a straightforward hyperlink. So announcements, I'm going to copy that link address. And then you can use the hyperlink icon. A little tip as well is Control K will bring up the same thing. So I tend to use Control K and then Control V, which is a shortcut for paste. I'll get my next hyperlink. Add the hyperlink there. And then the last one. Uh, now you can link to things that are outside of your Moodle, might be on your organization sort of homepage. So I'm just going to link to a page on my website. So I'm going to save it. And what you'll see is I've added three links, but they're not very attractive because they don't at the moment look like buttons. There they are at the bottom there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag it up so it's towards the top. I'm now going to convert those hyperlinks into buttons as per the example below. So I'm going to go back into the edit and edit settings. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go into the HTML editor. So it's that icon which is like an open and close brackets. Different um, editors, it might appear in different places. Mine it's top right, yours might be in a slightly different position. But once we're in there, what we've got is there'll be something that says a href equals and that's basically the hyperlink. Now after the a and before the href I'm going to type in class equals open inverted commas and then it's btn space and btn hyphen primary. So what I've added is that bit of text there class equals and then inverted commas btn a space ETN hyphen primary and then inverted commas. So I'm going to just copy that and I'm going to add that to each of the three hyperlinks. And what I'm doing is I'm telling it that the hyperlink is going to have the uh, class or the behavior of a button and the particular button is a primary button. So you'll see here in my editing screen it's blue but when I save and return to course on my Moodle, it happens to make them red because that's how my primary buttons have been formatted. Now, if you want to know a bit more about bootstrap buttons, then um, there's quite a lot of examples on the on the web for you. So there's basically a whole load of pre-programmed sort of classes. I used the class equals BTM primary. If you want to use different colors, then you can just try different options. Different Moodles might render them slightly differently. You saw in mine that primary was rendered as red rather than blue. Um, and it's a bit of trial and error. And if you scroll down on this page, for example, you'll see that uh, you can have them as outlines. You can have large buttons, small buttons, full width buttons. There's all sorts of things that you can do just using the standard, what's called bootstrap HTML formatting. So we don't have to do anything particularly clever or fancy. Now, if you were doing this as part of setting up a course template, if I set it up so that this is pointing to announcements and this is pointing to the one to one dialogue and every course has those items, when I duplicate this course as part of the template and then restore it to create a new course, it will actually automatically change the URL in here 
to point to that and the URL in here to point to that. So it's quite neat because if you are setting up a template, you can set your template up with your buttons and make it very neat and tidy. And then when you duplicate the course, it just works quite nicely. In another video, I'm going to add in the uh, orange buttons. These are ones that teachers see and not the students. I'm Dave Ford. If you wish to get in touch, then please look at my contact details on the screen. I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.